What's up, my fucks? It's your boy, the hater of Pimmons, bitch. And I am bringing back my old intro. What's up, my fucks? You know what I'm saying? Once in a while, we're switching things up, as you all know. So let's get to the video. This video today is about why MJF completely sucks, all right? I'm sick and tired of this asshole showing up on TV and pretending he's, he's like God's gift to wrestling. This guy's fucking boring as shit, all right? Him yelling like the hater does in his promos does not mean anything. His promos are not good in the traditional sense because he's been saying the same fucking thing for like three and a half years now. Now, with that being said, let's move on to another character that I fucking hate called Bray Wyatt, right? Now I know you're thinking, hater, why are you comparing these two? They're completely different characters. Well, motherfucks, I'm here to tell you that they're not different characters at all. That in fact, they're the same fucking horseshit repackaged in a very similar way, but people pretend that there is a big difference between the two of them. And the main similarity is this. For years, we've heard both of them, Bray Wyatt for longer, to be fair, we've heard both of them come out and say fucking nothing about anything, right? People keep talking about how good of a storyteller Bray Wyatt is. Name one fucking story this cocksucker has ever told in the ring or in anything, right? Name one, motherfucks. Name one. What the fuck was the Wyatt family? That wasn't a story. That was three morons in the woods jacking each other off and thinking to themselves, oh, we're creepy and evil. That's the whole Wyatt family. Oh, Sister Abigail, she took care of us. Did she? Well, fuck you and fuck Sister Abigail. What do you think of them apples? Now, with that being said, in the more modern time, we have Uncle Howdy, another shitty character from another shitty Bray Wyatt incarnation, along with The Fiend, which is the same fucking thing. All right? This has been a complete disaster. Now, with that being said, let's move over to MJF, right? His character of I'm better than you and you know it, which is literally his catchphrase, right? His catchphrase is literally the character archetype, right? This would be like if Val Venus's catchphrase was, I fuck a lot of women. Like, that, it would be the same thing, right? It's a shit catchphrase and it's a shit wrestler carrying this shit gimmick, right? We've seen it a hundred times and many people have done it better than him. Dolph Ziggler, God forbid I admit it, Dolph Ziggler did the I'm better than you gimmick better than him. Damien Sandow did it better than him. The Miz did it a hundred times better than him. The Miz is like 50 times better overall than fucking someone like MJF. Now, MJF, he comes out there and his entire shtick is I'm really good and everyone else sucks, right? That's pretty much every promo he's ever cut. Right? Everything else that he said is just some low-brow nonsense. Like, he'll look at Diamond Dallas Page and he'll be like, Oh, I banged Page's daughter, did you? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is that all about, right? He's just saying that to get under people's skin. You know what I mean? And not in a good way, but in a cheap heat way, right? Back in the day, Cox, we called this X-Pac heat, right? When people got heat and nobody really liked them. Now, the difference between X-Pac heat and MJF heat is that MJF people do like him, right? But they, li they like him because they are starved for actual character development, right? You you look at him and you compare him as a character to, I don't know, someone shitty from the Attitude Era or even someone shitty from the Ruthless Aggression Era. You can, you can compare him to, uh, let's see, let's compare him, here's a good one, Cucks, R-Truth, right? R-Truth, in my personal opinion, R-Truth is a 50 times better wrestler and a 100 times better character than MJF because R-Truth is versatile. MJF has no versatility and also, by the way, motherfucks, what kind of a shit moveset does this asshole have? His finishing move is a fucking Fujiwara armbar, which fucking, like, what was the, the name of that broad? Caitlyn or whatever. Caitlyn on SmackDown would do for free. You know what I'm saying? It was like one of her normal moves. This is the, the, the finishing move of the world champion in AW, right? Meanwhile, Bray Wyatt has done absolutely nothing to reinvent himself at all. All he does is talk about reinventing himself, right? It's very, very low effort. And as, as a matter of fact, I'm fucking sick of this guy. I don't give a shit if Bray Wyatt becomes the next Stone Cold. I'm never going to like this cocksucker. It's impossible, right? Same thing with MJF, right? These are two characters that all they've done, in my personal opinion, is take time from people that actually might have some good character ideas, right? Because they hog all the spotlight, right? MJF is especially egregious in this, although now Bray Wyatt can't be comparable because neither of them ever fucking wrestled, right? Bray Wyatt wrestled a match against LA Knight. It was one of the worst matches I've ever seen in my life. It was a Mountain Dew pitch black match. And in the end, Uncle Howdy came and did an elbow drop. The elbow drop had absolutely no bearing on anything. LA Knight is still wrestling, right? He, they just forgot about him. Uncle Howdy's still Uncle Howdy. He's just a mysterious ass who doesn't do anything, right? The only hope I have is that Bobby Lashley just butchers this cocksucker, just like Randy Orton did at like five or so minutes in a row, right? If anything, if anything, actually, I wouldn't even care if Bray Wyatt beats Bobby Lashley as long as the, the segment ends with Randy Orton coming out and punting him in the head and burning him alive again so he can go away for another three months. You know what I'm saying? 
But the reality is this. These characters both represent the same shitty wrestling product that we have grown accustomed to, right? There is a big problem. And the big problem is just the presentation of the characters. And by that, I don't just mean the fact that Bray Wyatt is presented as a supernatural being even though he does nothing. And, uh, and fucking MJF is presented as this like great wrestler even though he clearly is not. Like he's boring, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody, I, like when I see MJF, I'm like lame. You know, I keep until Jericho comes on or something, someone good. But that's neither here nor there. The real presentation I'm talking about it's not just th their character presentation, but it's the presentation of them as being somehow good or unique, right? That's the worst part. The worst part is that Bray Wyatt is not a creepy guy, and he's not a good storyteller. But people keep saying he's a good storyteller. So that becomes the narrative. Their narrative becomes, this guy is a good storyteller because look at all the stories he's told. And then when someone like me says, okay, name one story. As a matter of fact, anyone that listens to this video, I challenge you, in the comments, Tell me, give me one full story with a beginning, a middle, and an end that Bray Wyatt told. Now, if you can do that, good for you. But I challenge you not only to do that, but do a story. Tell me a story that Bray Wyatt has told that could not have been told the same exact way by Malachi Black, right? That it's the same fucking character. Tell me one. And then tell me something that MJF has done that The Miz wouldn't do better. You know what I'm saying? If you can do answer those two things, I'll admit that I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is that nobody can because it's never happened, right? It's as simple as that. Bray Wyatt is only creative because people say he's creative. He's done nothing creative at all. He's basically a fucking Mankind ripoff, right? People forgot about Mankind, I guess. He's a Mankind ripoff. He's a guy with three personalities, but they're all the same. Whereas Mankind's personalities were all distinct and interesting, right? You had, you had Dude Love, who was like a hippie. You had Mankind, who's a deranged psychopath, who eventually becomes like a comedy character. And you had Cactus Jack, who is like the unhinged crazy guy, right? These are three different characters that one man played. Bray Wyatt has Bray Wyatt, he has The Fiend, then he has Uncle Howdy now, whatever the fuck that's going to be, and then he's got the, the Firefly Funhouse thing, which is not even a character, that's just him going crazy, you know what I'm saying, it's like part of the same character, it's just sometimes Bray Wyatt goes insane and likes to play with puppets, fucking insane and stupid if you ask me, so you tell me those things cucks, and I will admit that I'm wrong immediately, but the reality is, like I said a second ago, nobody can, because these are facts of life, I'm speaking the truth here, as usual, the hater, especially back on this video cucks, officially back, cucks like is, you know what I'm saying, uh, the hater, once again, is telling the truth, the realities are what the realities are, instead of actually seeing some good wrestling, right, and actual development, we have to sit through yet another version of Bray Wyatt that nobody should want to see at this point, what the fuck are people clamoring about? You know what I mean? Why do you want to see this again? Why do you want to see MJF again? We've seen the Miz. He had a great run. He's a Hall of Famer, soon to be that is. You know what I mean? Where the hell is everybody else? Who knows, right? Nobody else is showing up. We have people like Grayson Waller. Who the fuck cares? You know? But the two biggest culprits, in my opinion, in both these companies are Bray Wyatt and MJF, who have brought fucking nothing to the table. Absolutely nothing. Do you understand the amount of work that's going to be required to put MJF really over in WWE? And he's not over, over, motherfucks. He's not over. He's over to the next beard audience, but he's not over. He's not actually over. I know people think he is, but he's not. And here's how I know, right? The people want him to turn face. That's why he's not over. Because to be over is not just to be liked. To be over means dumb fucks. It means to be able to do your job correctly and get the intended reaction that you deserve, right? Based on your character work or in-ring performance or whatever the case may be, right? There are times, exceptions that is, where getting over has the opposite effect and you switch the person from face to heel. But that happens when people do cool shit. MJF isn't there any cool shit. People just like him and want to turn face because they are smarks, right? They think they understand. They're like, huh, I get it. I get MJF. Oh, he made fun of a 10-year-old girl. Wow. How committed is he to the character? Well, fuck his character and fuck him. I piss on his title. What do you think of them apples, motherfucks? And with that being said, fuck MJF. Fuck Bray Wyatt. Fuck Grayson Waller. I hate all these people. They're all holding wrestling down significantly. Karrion Cross is back, completely just stealing money from this company at this point. Doing fucking nothing. Never drew a dime up in this bitch. They're like, oh, Karrion Cross is back. So what? Now he has hair and he's, like, he's a little bit fatter. He's getting his ass kicked by Sheamus. It's like, that's this guy's fucking career, you know? I'm sure the guy's a nice guy. And I'm sure, honestly, that Bray Wyatt, well, he's not a nice guy because he like left his wife for like JoJo or whatever, right? But I'm sure the other ones are nice people. I'm sure MJF is a nice guy, but let's be real. 
These people are just not good wrestlers. It's as simple as that. They may be nice people. They may be good at what they think they're good at. Like Kerry Cross has a decent physique, I guess. But the reality is what the reality is. None of these guys are good wrestlers, right? WB does have some good wrestlers. Like I just said a minute ago, our truth cocksuckers. Now I understand our truth's like 50. You're not gonna push him now. But he's someone that is like 100 times better in the ring than Bray Wyatt and MJF combined. He has more charisma than both of them combined. He's more creative than both of them combined. He's fucking better than everything than both of them combined, right? But instead of pushing our truth, they, they try to push a Rusev and Nakamura. And then everyone's surprised when Rusev and Nakamura don't get over, and, or like they get over for a bit, and then people are like, oh, okay, this guy sucks. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, Nakamura is like jobbing to like fucking Funaki or some shit. You know what I'm saying? He's jobbing to some Jabron in like Dragon Gate or some, some garbage, right? Nobody gives a flying fuck. And that's the truth. The truth is, as the hater has always said it, is that you need good wrestlers. And good wrestlers mean good gimmicks, and good gimmicks mean authenticity. And there's nothing authentic about someone doing the same thing three times, or someone saying the same thing The Miz said 15 years ago, when The Miz was like at the peak of his overness, right? Maybe not 15 years ago, 10 years ago, whatever, right? There are differences in how you handle this shit. And nobody in WWE or AW recently has handled it well. And the ones that do handle it well, like for example, I have to admit it, right? Sheamus has revitalized his career a little bit with his brawling brutes, right? Not that this is a great program, but the facts are, look at Sheamus and look at Cesaro. Cesaro is basically a nameless nobody in AEW, and Sheamus is rebranding himself to a certain extent, proving once and for all that he was the number one guy in the bar, right? Think about what I'm saying, motherfucks. You have like Cesaro, like, oh my god, we've had, the AEW has Claudio Castagnoli, and he'll be wrestling Wheeler Yuta, or with Wheeler Yuta, for 10 weeks in a row. Nobody wants to fucking watch this shit, you know what I'm saying? Nobody cares, cucks! And with that being said, the haters gotta go. Go fuck yourselves, bitches.